Hey guys, Papa Joe Explode. Today I come to you with a little bit of thinking outside the box. As you can see, these soldiers just got done patching themselves up. They're, uh, they're a little demoralized. However, your side is completely out of lead shot. So what do you do? Well, I happen to have found from Treehouse Studios these half inch round balls made out of wood. So I figured, hey, isn't half inch 50 caliber? And doesn't this thing shoot round balls? Let's see how wooden round balls does in a pinch as ammunition. Alright guys, here's the first shot. Now I used a, a lower um, powder load, so down to 25 grains, just so maybe we can keep this ball from breaking apart. We'll go up from here as we shoot. Anyways, first shot. Shooting for the uh, middle guy. Oh wow. Oh wow indeed. Well, it's accurate. Alright guys, second shot. We're going to go for the far right guy. That was 30 grains of powder. Let's see where that went. Okay guys, 30 grains of powder. Ball held up because it hit right here in one piece. The same for this guy, hit right here. Um, and it looks like it made its own new hole through the plywood, so I think we're safe to say that this will most definitely break skin. Who knows how deep it'll go? Kind of wish I had some ballistic gel. Alright, guys, third shot with 35 grains of powder. Now, this is the same powder load that I used to shoot lead ball. Let's see if the ball actually holds up. Shooting for that same guy. Alright. Alright guys. Looks like we hit right here. Um, a little out, a little out of the bounds. Um, so, using a lower charge with a lot lighter uh, ball. Hit right here. Using the same ball, higher charge. We're, we're starting to kind of spread out from where our point of aim is. Of course I'm using one hand too, so. Let's go ahead and shoot one more time for this guy, using the 35 grains again, using two hands, and let's see if it starts deviating. Or maybe we should actually stick to the uh, lower powder charges. Alright guys, same, same load, two hands this time. Alright, let's go see where that one went. Alright guys, looks like, uh, looks like we hit up here. So, definitely looks like we're uh, we're starting to spread out with our loads. So let's go back down to uh, 25 grains and shoot it from there. All right, guys, forgive the mess, but uh, just in case for you guys that don't believe that I'm shooting these round balls out, these wooden round balls out, I'll show you. So, 25 grains, 3F Pyrodex. Down the barrel. Get a couple pops. Um, I'm just using paper wadding. So I'm just taking a piece of paper from old targets. Sticking it down in there. Taking a wooden ball. I'm sticking it right there on top. There I go. Cap it off. Go okay. shoot. All right, guys. Twenty-five grains. Shooting back at the uh, the, uh, the far right target. Two hands. All right. Okay, guys. Looks like we uh, we shot a little high. We actually took this uh, took this out right here. We actually hit right here, right above this guy. So, uh, looks like we're bringing it in. So let's use uh, 20 grains of powder and shoot. From what I'm seeing, guys, is the less powder we use, the closer to the target we're actually hitting. All right, 20 grains of powder. Ooh. 
Maybe that was a little too weak. Okay. All right, guys. Point blank, 40 grains of powder, patched round ball. So um, after seeing the lack of pressure that comes out of that 20 grains with just paper wadding, let's go with the cloth wadding, 40 grains. That got on the far, far left. Look at these guys. Shot right here. Yeah, I hit him right here, uh, right where I was aiming. So he is now dead. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Now, this video has been a little bit silly, a little bit on the impractical side, but however, it does show that a wooden round ball will go through at least this plywood. So this might actually wound somebody pretty good. But uh, will it actually kill an enemy soldier? Probably not. Probably not with clothing. Probably not with, you know, like like belt gear and, and uh, leather and, you know, of course, you know, the, the muscle tissue on top. But I guarantee you, it probably would put somebody out of the fight if they got hit with this in the wrong spot. But, uh, but anyways, guys, just to say we've done it and just to say we tried it, we did, and we actually got pretty decent success out of it. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, like. We'll have more videos to come. Peace.